Today was a, it's a hard one to leave. Hard, hard, hard. My son's home for school for the weekend. My wife is at home. Sunny. It's warmer than it has been here. It's in the 30s. <laughs> um, as opposed to, to negative five windshield. Um, but I'm leaving the house. <clears throat> but that's part of trucking, right? It's part of trucking. I'm actually headed a little earlier than I planned to. Um, I'm only going to Tulsa for a Monday morning delivery with uh, a total of three stops. Um, but uh, Tulsa is the first stop Monday morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Time. Uh, but there is a winter advisory here in the Midwest, uh, Chicago area, Central Illinois, um, that's calling for a mixture of rain, ice, uh, expecting icy roads, you know, black ice, you know, the, the, the bad stuff. So, thought it was wise to kind of get out of here a little earlier and get, in my word, beneath it, south of it, and uh, shut down. You know, maybe I get around the same road. We'll see. It's uh, 9.45 or 9.30 Central Time, so I got all day to drive. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it works out. But I got a load of windows on. Doors. Doors. So I got doors. And uh, I believe it's doors. We'll verify that. I believe it's doors. I don't think it's windows. I think it's doors. Um, but it's packed nice and tight. About, um, I think I got maybe 20,000 pounds on. So it's a light load. We're going to get on down to, um, to the area and, and shut it down. So I'm going to turn this into a little bit of a trip vlog. I'll um, follow up with you guys, and uh, as we go along, I'm going to actually do a little video inside of the I-44 Petro down in Exit 4, I believe it's Exit 4, um, because I want a $100 gift certificate, I'm going and do a little shopping on their dime. <laughs> well, you folks stand by, and we'll uh, revisit you on this trip. Good morning, family. It's Monday morning. Happy Monday morning to everybody. I'm at my first stop here on this uh, three-stop load that I got. Um, doors, thermo, 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 true doors. I can't talk. I had no coffee yet. You gotta jump back here in the bunk and uh, brew me a, a cup so I can get my um, my faculties to operate right. They gotta lubricate the brain with a little caffeine. But uh, yeah, we're at the first stop um, right on time. 7.30 appointment, and it is uh, currently 7.38, and the uh, forklift is on the trailer. So that's how I like a, a plan to operate. Smooth, seamless. The goal for me when I do multiple stops is to get uh, to each stop earlier than required. That way I can be off of it earlier than what was uh, estimated. So I can get on to the next load. So, um, yeah, once I get empty here, I'm going to be, once I get empty on my last stop, um, <clears throat> my next stop, just so I don't get ahead of myself, is uh, Guthrie, Oklahoma, which is, I guess, a suburb of um, Oklahoma City. I'm due there at 1130, but I hope to get there a little earlier than that. And hopefully they'll be ready and they can get on and, and get off. Um, not a lot of pieces. I think it's according to this, it's uh, six packages. On the second stop and uh two on the the last stop so we should be in and out you know on to the next thing which is um 
Fort Smith, Arkansas. Yep, just get out of the area, right? Pays decent. Gets me down in the area where hopefully I'll be able to get some better freight. Let's see, Lafayette, Louisiana. So, uh, so stay tuned for the next couple of stops and then uh, on to the next one. Well, I tell you, sometimes you wonder if it was too easy. <laughs> you wonder what's going to go wrong, you know. But i um, happy to say that this load that I had, uh, three-stop load, is complete. I had a Tulsa stop, which I arrived there this morning, about 725, 730 appointment. I've been there before, so I know how they operate. didn't have to get there early. And I knew they had a gate where they won't allow me in before a certain time. So got there and I was out at 8 o'clock loaded. I mean empty, excuse me. Uh, my next stop was um, Guthrie, Oklahoma, which was about an hour and 45 minute run just north of um, Oklahoma City. Got there at 10 o'clock, was out of there at 10.30, outstanding. And then uh, my last stop, uh, which was here in Oklahoma City, I had two pallets. Uh, got there um, at 11 o'clock, and I was out of there at 11.30, 11.45, while I sat there a little bit and did some paperwork. Uh, but I'm done with that load. On to the next. My next journey will start in um, Fort Smith, Arkansas. I was looking for some loads that would uh, get me to a better area, and I uh, was able to do that. Got a load, pick up a Fort Smith, Arkansas, going down to... Uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, and then outside of, when I leave uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, when I leave there, I got a hazmat load going up to uh, Richmond, Indiana, pays 450 a mile, so not bad, not bad, um, got a, not a great load, but a load getting me in the area, and then a decent load getting me out, so it gets me back in Indiana, so therefore I got options, I dead head home for the weekend, or I give it a little load, you know, bounce back into Chicago, Wisconsin, delivers on Monday, something like that, kind of level the week off. So, um, hey, just wanted to share that with you. Load is successfully completed, and like we say, it's on to the next one. So, um, see you on the next video. Have a great one, guys.